The Kuve Waters teams have been developing sustainable solutions for their decentralized water supply systems in the Kuve Laetosa Basin in close cooperation with local people and the government since 2006. At Amarika and Akutsima, it was discovered that there was underground water, but it was too salty, highly contaminated, and therefore unhealthy to drink. According to the project head of Kuve Waters from the Institute of Social Ecological Research, Dr. Thomas Kruger, the government then requested to have a sustainable solution of desalinating the water in order to supply clean drinking water to the people, especially in remote rural areas where water is aligned. Pilot desalination plants were thus built at Amarika and Akutsima to make drinkable water available to the villagers. The Institute for Social Ecological Research in Frankfurt and Kuve Water International Projects built four different small-scale groundwater desalination plants in the area with funding from the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research. The desalination was tailored to local conditions, making use of solar power, a source of energy to produce up to 3,3 cubic meters of drinking water per day. But you have to imagine this water is expensive. You can see all these facilities are necessary to desalign the water. So it's only for drinking purposes. And the people is paying the same price like in the whole Namibia is 8 0.5 million dollar um, per cubic meter. The team had long-term plans to ensure that the project was successfully transferred to government and staffs were trained on site how to operate the plans to make sure that water is readily available to villagers. The facilities was received by the Agriculture, Water and Forestry Permanent Secretary Joseph Ita. If a facility is established it must continue to operate either at the level where it was operating when it was handed over or in most cases it must be improved. This idea of creating infrastructure and then soon after they are handed over they deteriorate create white elephants. I keep on saying that. White elephants. And here in Namibia, we don't like white elephants.